All right, Math 1, Section 4, Slope from Parallel or Perpendicular Lines. So in this lesson, we're going to be basing it off of unit th or Section 3, where we were finding the slope of lines from their equation. But now we're going to have to find the slope of a line that is parallel or a line that is perpendicular. So it's going to be really important to look at the directions. So like here, it says to find one that's parallel. On the back side, it's going to say perpendicular. Now on the homework, they're going to be jumbled all up. So you might have the first question says parallel, the second question says perpendicular. So you just need to really pay attention to which one, is, which one it is asking for. So now we need to decide how do we find the parallel slope or the perpendicular slope. Well, for parallel, if you think about it, and we graph the, there's our coordinate plane, and see I graph two lines. Those are my two lines. And we say those lines are parallel. We'll say that they're parallel here. I can even mark that they're parallel. That's the little marking for saying parallel. Parallel lines have the same slope. Parallel. They have the same slope. We could say that they have equal slope. I think I misspelled parallel there. Let me fix that. I should have two L's right there. There we are. All right, equal slope. So let's do number one real quick. Um, number one says find the slope of a line parallel to the given one. So this here, this is the given line, and we want to find the slope of any line that is parallel to it. Well, the slope of number one, slope, is seven. We should be able to grab that really quickly from the from the equation. That is a y-intercept form equation, and the 7 is m, right? Remember m being right in front of the x, and that's our slope. A line that is parallel has the same slope, so the parallel line, and I'm going to write this parallel line slope equals 7. This symbol here two lines next to each other can mean parallel. So the slope of the line is 7, and the parallel line slope is also 7. All right, so this first page is a whole lot like just what we did in the last section. So let's look at number 2. We need to find the slope of this equation. So the slope is, here's A, A is 1, and B is also 1, so A and B. We have negative a over b, so it's a negative 1 over 1, which is negative 1. And the parallel line slope is also negative 1, because they're just supposed to be the same. All right, let's look at number 3. The slope of this guy, here's our a, here's our b. This is in general form, just like number 2 was. Our slope is going to be negative 5 over 4. Slope is negative 5 over 4. Man, that's ugly. Slope. There we go. And the parallel line slope would also be negative 5 fourths. Number 4. All right, this one's a little bit interesting. We have x equal, I'm going to rewrite this as x equals 2. Now, I think in one of the previous um, notes, I talked about what does x equals 2 mean. And I know it's in your vocab notes. Um, anytime you have x equals something, it's going to be a line. It's going to be a vertical line. Right? And vertical lines have an undefined slope. Slope equals undefined. Or we'll just say slope undefined, no equals. So the parallel line will also have an undefined slope. So we'll say parallel line slope 
undefined. All right, so that's number four. Number five, well this here, um, we've got three y equals, um, why don't we put this in slope intercept form? So slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So I'm gonna start off by putting the x near the equal sign. So I'm gonna say, well this is the same thing as three y equals negative seven x minus nine. Now I need to divide by three So I'm going to have, well, y equals negative 7 thirds x minus 3. And our slope is right there. And our parallel line slope is also negative 7 thirds. All right, number 6. Well, here this is actually in slope intercept form, I believe. Let's just rewrite this so we have y equals y equals, and we'll put 1x minus 4. All, right, all I did there was I rearranged it. So our slope here is 1, and our parallel line slope is also 1. All right, that's the first page. That should be pretty well reviewed from the last year from the last section. Now the second page, find the slope of a line perpendicular. So perpendicular means they intersect at a right angle. So if we were to graph this, if we were to do a little sketch of what this would look like, we would have a line here. We'll say this is our line. This is our original line. The perpendicular line would go through right here and they'd have a right angle. So, what this does to our slope is the slope becomes the opposite reciprocal. And I'm thinking I've spelled reciprocal, reciprocal wrong there, but that's okay. Opposite means negative to positive, and the reciprocal means that if it's A over B, make it b over a. You flip your fraction and you make it negative, or if it's already negative, you make it positive. So let's start off looking at number eight here and we'll come to number seven next. Number eight, for starters, we need to find what is the slope of this equation. Well, this is in general form, so it's negative a over b. That's what our formula tells us. Here's a, here's b. So we're gonna say negative three over four. So this is our line slope. This is our slope. Now perpendicular, sometimes I would refer to that as that. You just put a little right angle. Our perpendicular line slope is going to be the opposite reciprocal of negative three-fourths. The opposite makes it flop from negative to positive, so it's going to be positive. And the reciprocal part of it makes us flip the fraction, so it's going to be four thirds, right? The four is on top here, it was on bottom. And really, I think what I'm supposed to do here is perpendicular should be like this. They actually have the line going out all the way. All right, so that's how we do a perpendicular line. Let's do um, number nine before we come to number seven. Number nine is also in general form. So here's our A, here's our B, B is negative one. So we have negative a over b, that's our slope. So we're going to have negative 3 over negative 1, which is positive 3. Now this is our regular slope. Our perpendicular line slope is going to be the opposite reciprocal of that. So our slope is positive positive 3, so we know it's going to be negative, so we can put a little negative sign. And now we need the reciprocal of the number 3. Well, 3, we could really say is 3 over 1, right? Because any, any integer we can always say is over 1. So the reciprocal is going to be 1 over 3. And this right here is our answer. All right, now that we've done a couple of normal problems, let's look at the abnormal one, number 7. 
So I've already said that this is a vertical line. A vertical line. Now, what would be perpendicular to a vertical line? Well, perpendicular to a vertical line would be a horizontal line, right? So the perpendicular line is horizontal, right? And then what is the slope of a perpendicular line? Or, uh, uh, excuse me, what is the slope of a horizontal line? The slope of a horizontal line is zero. All right, and that's all in your, your vocab notes. So the answer to number seven is going to be zero. Perpendicular line slope. There it is. Perpendicular line slope is zero. All right, so that's how we do that one. Let's look at number 10. All right, let's get, um, we'll put our, we'll put it in general form. So we're going to get 2x minus 5y is 25. So the slope is negative 2 over 5, right? I use the general form. Now the perpendicular slope is going to be the opposite reciprocal. So it's negative now, so it's going to be positive because that's the opposite part. And then the reciprocal makes it 5 halves. All right, number 11. Um, number 11. Well, this is already in general form. Here's our A, here's our B. Negative B, or negative, excuse me. Negative A over B is our slope. So we're going to have negative negative 1 over negative 5. This is 1 over negative 5. So our perpendicular line slope is the opposite reciprocal. In this case, it's just going to be it's going to be 5 over 1 or just 5. All right, and number 12. Let's start off Let's start off by multiplying everything by 7 real quick. So we get -7x plus y equals 2. And then we can solve for y, and we say y equals 7x plus 2. Our slope is 7. So our perpendicular line slope. The opposite of 7 is negative. And then the reciprocal of 7, well, 7 is 7 over 1, so it's 1 over 7. All right, there we are.